Oh, I'm doing it. Boom. That's right, boys and girls. Welcome to the show. It's the Otter Sam right here. Coming to you live with the old school classic, Resident Evil, the director's cut. Training or standard? We'll go standard. I'm not a baby. Resident Evil. This is one of my all-time favorite horror games of all time. Jill or Chris? Jill or Chris? I gotta go with my girl Jill. I played this game back when it first came around. Well, my brother Kate paid it, and I was terrified as hell. But when I got the chance to play it myself, I absolutely love this game. Now I'm gonna fix the brightness in here. That's Alpha better. Team is flying around the forest zone situated in northwest Raccoon City, where we're searching for the helicopter of our compatriots Bravo mm. Team, who disappeared during the middle Chris, of our mission. No, I haven't found it yet. So excited to be playing this again. Bizarre murder cases through. have recently occurred in Raccoon City. There are outlandish reports of families being attacked by a group of about ten people. Victims were apparently eaten. eaten. Bravo team went to the hideout of the group and disappeared. Look, Chris! Chris! Try to get people into my view here. It was Bravo Team's helicopter. Nobody was in it. But strangely, most of the equipment was still there. However, we soon discovered why. <clears throat> hey! Hey! Come here! Come here! Up to the wall. Jill, run for that house. Resident Evil. <laughs> Chris Redfield. Redfield. Jill Valentine. All characters should just do. Barry Burton. <laughs> Rebecca Chambers. Hey, the hero from Resident Evil Zero. Albert Wesker. Yeah. Resident, Resident Evil. Evil. <laughs> they have escaped into the mansion where they thought it was safe. Yet. Ah, uh, yeah, what baby. Is this? This. Wow. Wow. What a what mansion. mansion. Captain Wesker, Wesker? Where's, where's Chris? Chris? Stop it! Don't, Don't open, open that, that door. door! But Chris is... What is it? Maybe it's Chris. Now, <laughs> Jill, can you go? I'm going with, with you. you. Chris is our old, old partner, partner you, know. you know. Okay, let me handle this. 
Man, I've I found myself quoting this a lot. Stay, Stay alert. alert. I've often quoted this game like a lot, just randomly, like, "Wow, what a mansion!" The dining room. A dining room. See, I always had this uh, dream that if I was ever a super wealthy rich dude, whatever. There we go. That if I was ever rich. Okay. What? Hate to waste a bullet, but what? What is, what is this? What is it? Blood. Blood. Jill. See if you can find any other clues. I'll be examining this. Hope this is not <laughs> Chris's, Chris's blood. blood. But if I had, uh... Okay, going back to my thought, because my brain doesn't like to, you know, keep track of thoughts. I always had a dream that I would have a mansion built just like this. Not the remake version of Resident Evil, mind you. Investigate if you hear any gunfire. Aw, you're not going to tell me I lost my nerve? I think that's in the remakes. Like, haha, <laughs> you lost your nerve. Can I leave again? Lost courage already? It's not like you. <laughs> there we go. What the? F what the? Hey, you! Stop! Run, Jill. He's insane. What, <laughs> Jill? He's insane. What the hell? What the hell? Let's report this to Wesker. I have never seen that cutscene before! What? That's wild! Because usually in the game, after you talk to Barry, you go to the side room, you turn around, and then you get the iconic, uh, chompy scene of like, <laughs> Help me look for him, Jill. And don't leave this hall for the time being. So yeah, sorry guys, I lost, we lost the iconic scene, but... Ow. But, um, I do plan on playing this game again on my channel, but with the Chris story, so we'll get the iconic moment then. Find anything, Jill? Nothing. What is this all about? I can't figure it out at all. Beats me, too. Hmm. Now it's Wesker's time to disappear. I don't know what's going on. Well, it can't be helped. Let's <laughs> search for him separately. I'll check the dining room again. Okay. Okay. I'll try the door, try the door on, the on the opposite, opposite side. side. This mansion is gigantic. <laughs> we could get into trouble if we get lost. We should start from the first floor, okay? And... Jill, here's a lockpick. <clears throat> it might be handy if you, you the, the master, master of unlocking, of unlocking take, take it with you. you. Thanks. Maybe I'll need it. <laughs> Listen, if something happens, let's meet up he in this hall. Home. This time, I'll be there. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, man, it's gonna make my title card really awkward now. Because, uh, the title card is <laughs> the opening zombie shot. I'm like, I don't have that scene in this playthrough this time. That's a little too much. Alright. It's a map of first floor. Will you take it? Yes. You got the map of first floor. I 
a picture of a chubby woman. Chubby? She looks skinny, what the fuck, Jill? <laughs> ah! Damn it! Get your head out of here. Ink ribbon. Now, I'm trying to think. I know that so far the only difference I know with Chris on his playthrough is like two slots less. So you gotta work with six slots. God, I'm already yellow fine. Jesus. He's lockpick. But anyway, um. I can't remember. And, th and there's obviously different characters, like. Plot point characters and all that are different with Chris than Jill. Now here's a here's a blast from the past. To avoid this scare, well, not really avoid the scare, but to be prepared for it. Bad doggy. These are called Cerberuses, but they look like Dobermans. Ah! Bad dog! Down! Come on! Come on! Come on! Bad doggy! Oh, thank God we got a clip. Hey, welcome to the show. Welcome to the horror that is Resident Evil. <laughs> In the remake, if you do this like back and forth, uh, they gave Jill jiggle physics. Why? I don't know, but you know, it's like whatever. God, how slow it takes sometimes with it. It's locked. A carving of armor. I think they updated the language too, because like, it would it would have said a carving of an armor. <laughs> Nothing useful. I like that. I like the reflection of the mirror there. It gets scarier later on in this hall. Uh, oh, I mean, obviously it's a really old game, but I won't really spoil it. Nothing unusual. Ooh, it's shoddy. Hell yes. I'm sure nothing bad will happen. Huh? Oh no. It's locked. It's locked. Uh oh. Well, folks, I might have boned myself here. Damn, I came over right off the bat. Hey, what's going on? <coughs> Jill? Is that you, Jill? What happened? Perry? Perry? Help me, please. The door won't open. Quick. Stay away from the door, Jill. I'm gonna kick this door down. Ouch! Hurry! Sorry. This way. I watch a lot of Box of Soup's uh, Resident Evil videos, so he's like, I'm gonna kick this door down. Ouch! Oh, Barry! 
help, Barry. That was too close. You were almost a Jill sandwich. <laughs> You're right. <laughs> Barry, thanks for saving my life. But, Barry, didn't you say you're going back to the dining room to do some research? Why on earth are you here? Uh, I just had something I wanted to check. Now, let's get back to searching for the lost captain and Chris, shall we? Thank you, Barry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I can't, I don't know if it's just my poor hearing or whatever, but in the past, I always thought he said a jibble sandwich. You're almost a jibble sandwich. Because he, like, laughs while he says Joe's like, jibble. I'm like, jibble? What the fuck? No. No, I don't need to check it. Oh man, it's gonna get hard to get. <laughs> it's gonna be hard to get used to these controls. You die. No, he ain't dead. God, these take a. Lovely. Just what I wanted to waste up all, all my ammo. <laughs> the picture is entitled From Cradle to Grave. <clears throat> picture of a tired middle aged man. Switch. Push it. No. <laughs> Picture of a newborn baby. Switch. Touch it? Yes. Picture of a young man. No. Of an infant. Yes. I think that's right. Lively boy. Let's see what the other one is. Old, bold looking old man. No. Okay, so boys next. Okay. No. Okay. Picture of a young man. Uh, young man. Tired middle-aged man. Okay, so yeah, young man's next. Young man, yes. Middle-aged man. Yes. There, I think I got it. Bold-looking old man. Yes. Picture is entitled, The End of Life. Switch, push it. Yeah! We already got our first crust. Lovely. I love his face! Haha, <laughs> 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 fucking birds, you stupid idiots. Hahaha! <laughs> You stupid birds, you can't do shit to me. You unlocked it. Great. Okay, he's dead. And I got no more pistol bullets. Never mind.
Okay. I'll save the shoddy for later because I don't want to waste that right now. That's not important until later. Alright. Okay. Chemical? Yes. What's nice about this compared to the remake is uh, the exclusion of um, Crimson Heads. The remake had the Crimson, head Crimson Heads added a little challenge. But thankfully you don't have to deal with that shit in this version. The OG version. Actually, you know, if I go this way, I should be able to get a thing from Barry. I think. <laughs> I often do this to myself in my mind. I look down at the stitch go, Duke, Duke, Duke. Really? Come on, guys, come get me. Come on. <coughs> oh, whoa, hey, whoa, whoa, whoa. No spitting allowed. That's just rude. <laughs> Doorknob is broken. Okay, I guess I gotta go this way. That's just rude, spitting at people? God. They're raising a barn? Well arranged. Nothing in common. Botany book about medicinal herbs. As you may know, there are many plants that have medicinal medical effects. Since ancient times, humans have been he healing wounds and diseases using various plants. In this book, we're going to sample three herbs that grow around the Raccoon Mountains and give their outlines as examples of these plants with medical properties. Each herb has different colors and different effects as medical plants. The green one recovers physical strength, your health. The blue one re neutralizes natural toxin, removes poison. While the red herb does not have any effect by itself, red herb is only effective when mixed with other herbs. For example, you mix this herb with the herb that recovers physical strength, the recovery effect will be tripled. By adjusting the amount and experiment with these three herbs, you can create various kinds of medicines, but I'll leave the details in your hands. Is that the best way to acquire true knowledge? Mm. Nothing a common. Cool. So the door's not broken. Locked. Carving of armor. Oh, this one's open. It's locked. Carving of a helmet. Sweet. Let's combine that. Perfect. That white square will be important later. I don't have a lighter. So, uh, 
Oh. Oh yeah, you're dead. Barry. Jill, what's going on? Any clues? No, but something's wrong with this house. Whoa. Whoa. This hall, this hall is, is dangerous. dangerous. Maybe it's better to secure <laughs> our escape route first. There must be a back door somewhere. Let's try to find it first, shall we? Okay. Let's separate again. Just a moment. Oh my god. I found something. What is it? A it's weapon. a weapon. It's really powerful, especially against living things. Better take it with you. But how about you, Barry? I, I have, have this. this. Thank you. I'll take this then. My infinite magnum. It's a weapon. It's ammo, Barry. You're not very bright, Barry. Hope this blood isn't for my teammates. Oh yeah, because you know, fuck Team Alpha. It's the only Bravo team we need to worry about. It's forced. He's been pecked to death by crows. Ah yeah, baby, give me the bazooka. Oh, that was close. I almost got pecked. In the remake, um... <coughs> sorry. It's not the, uh, the crows that get you. It's Forrest. He comes back as a zombie. Okay, yeah, you're done. Yeah! Come on. <clears throat> Is that it? Nope. Still kicking. Okay, now he's dead. <laughs> Are you dead yet, old man? Alright, hold on. Yeah, fuck your art. In the remake, there was another door here. But you only get this door. I gotta use this, unfortunately. It's like, Starfly, hurry up.
Bye. Locked. Carving in the helmet. New mirror came up. You don't know the pass number. Not today, zombies. Vitamins and serums. Hmm, <laughs> fuck it. Well, I wanted to avoid using this, but you know. Ah! I didn't know which way you were coming from. My bad. Shoot! <clears throat> Look at that sinister looking plant. I bet he's thirsty. No pump. Water seems to be sent from here. The lid's open. I bet he wants some... I bet he wants some Gatorade. Nope, Gatorade does not seem to be helping him. Yep. Take all the herbs and then save them. <laughs> Sorry, that wasn't. That's totally inappropriate. My bad. And one for the road. We got a key. It is the. Armor key. Shook him. Not for you. Use the lockpick. Sweet clip. Hmm. Ah! Give me them shells, baby. Keeper's Diary, May 9th, 1998. 
At night, we played poker with Scott the guard, alias, and Steve, the researcher. Steve was really lucky, but I think he was cheating. What a scumbag. Hey, maybe that's where scumbag Steve came from, the meme. May 10th, 1998. Today, a high-ranking researcher asked me to take care of a new monster. Looks like a gorilla without any skin. They told me to feed them live food. When I threw in a pig, they were playing with it. Tearing off the pig's legs and pulling out the guts before they actually ate it. May 11th, 1998. Around 5 o'clock this morning, Scott came in and woke me up suddenly. He was wearing a protection suit that looks like his face suit. He told me he put one on as well. I heard there was an accident in the basement lab. It's no wonder those researchers never rest, even at night. May 12th, 1998. I've been wearing this annoying spacesuit since yesterday. My skin grows musty and feels very itchy. By way of revenge, I didn't feed those dogs today. Now I feel better. May 13th, 1998. I went to the medical room because my back is all swollen and feels itchy. They put a bag, big bag bandage, big bandage on my back, and the doctor told me I didn't need to wear the spacesuit anymore. Guess I can sleep well tonight. May 14th, 1998. When I woke up this morning, I found another blister on my foot. It was annoying. I ended up dragging my foot as I went to the dog's pen. They have been quiet since morning, which is very unusual. I found that some of them had escaped. I'll be real trouble if the higher-ups ever find out. May 15th, 1998. Even though I didn't feel well, I decided to go see Nancy. It's my first day off in a long time, but I was stopped by the guard on the way out. They see the company and its orders that no one leaves the grounds. I can't even make a phone call. What kind of joke is this? May 16th, 1998. I heard a researcher who tried to escape from the mansion was shot last night. My entire body feels burning and itchy at night. When I was scratching the swelling of my arm, a lump of rotten flesh dropped off. What the hell is happening to me? May 19th, 1998. Fever gone but itchy. Hungry and eat doggy food. Itchy, itchy, Scott came. Ugly face, so killed him. Tasty. Itchy. Tasty. Keeper's Diary. Classic! Oh man, those tasty researchers. <clears throat> now I can open up the armor doors. He's Kenneth from the Stars Bravo team. Now he's become a mere shadow of his former self. Honestly, quiet outside. Oh, he doesn't have a clip or anything on him. Damn it. Maybe that's a remake thing, also. Use the lockpick. Okay, I need to make space before I do this. <laughs> He's just like chilling, whatever. Alright, these guys are gonna king these guys are gonna be a pain in the ass if I don't take care of them now. I don't risk it like just blowing through the ammo. <laughs> like I've been doing with every single enemy so far. And now nothing can bother me in this hall. Well, that one anyway. Bye!
And as usual, guys, if you enjoy my content, feel free to hit up my YouTube channel, The Auto Samurai, where I post my videos every after every stream. And we also get like really good. I have really good content on there too. I have all kinds of video games to pique your interest if you ever want to check them out. Blue Jewel. Mm. Alright, my nose is a bit stuffy right now. I'm getting all kinds of allergies. Woo! It reads, some tigers have a red eye and a blue eye. Like this. Oh look, another crest. Hooray for me. I think the music sheet's over here. Yeah, there it is. In the remake, you have to find another page to this. But here, it's all completed. A fine grand piano. It's Moonlight Sonata. Another talent Jill can add to her list. She's a pianist. Oh no, I'm trapped. Fuck. Whatever shall I do? Man, it feels so good to come back to this old janky ass house. Though I'm pretty sure it won't be janky good with the decent graphics, but you know, yeah, alright. It is the shield key. <laughs> Alright, so we got the armor and the shield key. Yeah, stay dead. Yes! More shoddy shells. If 
I remember correctly, I think it's this room. Oh no, zombie, don't bite my butt. Ye okay, yeah, you don't have the key for this room. Yeah, um, that room is the costume room. You get special costumes once you beat the game. <laughs> what a jackass. I think I'm gonna get you. Yep. Wait. Ah, shit. Well, I know what to do. Gotta backtrack, but I need a room. Or maybe I don't need to backtrack that far. Let's go this way. Yeah. Hate that my allergies going crazy. I definitely want to come back to this game and play Chris's side, though, for sure. But I think I may end up saving that for the Halloween uh, event. I did the Halloween, like, where I did hor different horror game every day in the past, but it didn't really, like... Well, it kind of panned out. People were watching stuff. But I'm going to do that again this year. Do a different horror game and include VR games. Let's hope I can get the, um... Get my laptop to work for some reason. The internet's not working. Mm, yeah. Get disoriented for a second. Oh wait, can I go outside? Yeah, okay. Uh, I think what's only out there is just herbs and dogs. So I don't really need them right now. I can always get them later. I think there's anything majorly important there. Mm, no. Thank you, give me that clip. All right, let's go meet another member of uh, STARS. Just stops with such authority. Richard, Richard, what happened? Oh, Jill, this house is. Dangerous. Dangerous. There are terrible demons. Ouch! Ouch. <laughs> You're wounded. What kind of demon attacked you? It was a huge snake. Snake. And also poisonous. Ugh. Poisonous? Oh no. Richard, 
Hold on. There is serum. Oh, no. I should have brought some with me. No problem. I'll go and get it. Thanks. This house is dangerous. Ouch! I think that's where the other half of that, like, Bok Basuit thing comes from. It's like, the, ouch! I know what's that. I know what's that. I don't need this. I don't need this. Richard's life is in danger. Don't, don't sidetrack me with where I need to go. Oh, God. I'm getting such a mis Russian nostalgia just to listen to the soundtrack. Mm -hmm. Give me that serum! Yeah, Richard, I'm coming. I know you probably don't hear that a lot, but I'm coming. I would like to see like an animation of just like Jill rushing to get the serum and then she gets sidetracked with literally everything else including finishing the game and before getting to Richard in the serum. And when she finally gets there like, Richard I got the serum, you're safe! And it's just like a corpse with like flies busting around. <coughs> oh jeez. <coughs> oh jeez, sorry. Got it, buddy. Here's the serum. Richard, hold on. I'll give you a shot now. Jill, here's my radio. You should keep it. I'm dead. Ugh. No! Richard! Jill, be careful. Uh, uh. Oh. 